Uh, Rockanor. Rockanor is a sea fishing mark to the east of Hastings. It's actually the furthest you'll get in a car down on the coastline there. And as you can see, it's a mixed ground, rocks, sand, boulders. And we'll be talking about the uh, end groin that you're looking at there, casting towards the east. Now your nearest fishing shop is the Hastings Angling Centre and that's within walking distance of your car park in there. You can just see rock and ore to the right. Now another alternative to the Hastings Angling Centre uh, is my favourite actually, Paul's Tackle. And Paul's up by the pier and he'll offer a good supply of uh, the tackle you'll need for the day, which we'll go into later, and um, fresh lugworm as well. Okay, so if you have a look here, you can see that the postcode uh, for your parking is TN343DW. And as the camera pans around, this was actually one of the largest um, tides of the year at low tide. So um, you probably won't be fishing tide down that much, but it gives a great indication there of the sort of rock features you'll see. That's looking towards the, well, that's straight out looking south there. Um, so you can either avoid those those rocks and try and put a bait on the sand for the flatfish or if you're feeling bold you'll find the bass in amongst the rocks there with with lug and uh, crab baits so rock and ore, uh, you can see from the overview here of google maps and just zoom in there's a car park there um, there's another jetty to the west and the one we're going to concentrate on today is this end groin here so casting out to the east as you can see the tides in um, to the right of that picture you'll get into two three meters of water um, when the tides in and again you'll you'll be trying to catch uh, fish in amongst those gullies there um, you will lose a bit of tackle as you see there you cast in that direction you're going to going to have to put up with losing a few rigs um, but the fish will be there uh, dab, flounder, plenty of eels as well. Um, remember eels are uh, still on the endangered list so you can't retain them but you will catch eels here um, as well. So if you fancy a, a little bit of a walk you can actually get down there onto those rocks. There's boulders, gullies, sand, um, outlet pipes and, and interesting features to fish. Uh, but do be careful as we say on the website at uh, Sea Fishing Marks, do be careful of some of the rock uh, rock falls that you get in the area. It's a nice one for a summer's day. Um, you could go with the lure rod. Um, unfortunately, the clay in the Ashdown sandstone formation tends to lead to cloudier water conditions, uh, known known as sort of May rot or gully water. So you really you've got a few options there. There's more rocks here as well, actually, on the other jetty. Um, but they're not as numerous as the end groin, and the end groin's a little bit more interesting to fish. So, yeah, if you want to know some more details, head over to www.seafishingmarks.co.uk and talk a little bit more about the species you're likely to catch there and your best bet of catching a fish.